Welcome to this video about Omada Identity Relay Provisioning, why it is important and how it works. Imagine you want to integrate an identity management solution into your company's IT landscape and the control of access to the company's target systems is the core goal. You start with the analysis of the company's environments and find a huge number of systems that need to be put under control. As it is important to provide quick results and the budget for the project is limited, the integration of all systems can be challenging. Here, the relayed provisioning concept of Omada Identity can significantly shorten the runtime of identity management projects. Let us start with a quick look at the architecture of traditional identity management solutions. Typically, there was a master source providing all identity master data. The identity management system contained all relevant information to synchronize the access information into the target systems. These architectures were monolithic and not able to react appropriate to irregularities. Modern identity management solutions have learned from these kind of shortcomings. In Omada Identity, you will find all workflows and reports in the core portal. Information from the authoritative sources and from target systems is loaded into an actual state database. This happens through a very efficient collector configuration. You are able to configure rule-based or individual access in a dedicated desired state database and enforce the user provisioning in the target systems with a user provisioning connector. The time for the configuration of a connector varies a lot depending on the individual requirements and interfaces of the system. The role and policy engine of Omada Identity makes sure that there is always a good overview about the gaps between the actual and the desired state. With its help, Omada Identity forms a closed control cycle. To get an identity management solution into production, a typical project runtime is around 4 months, with a falling tendency. But with this time frame, a full automation of user management across the entire organization is hard to accomplish and may take too much focus from other relevant aspects of identity management, such as the creation of a role model or the implementation of segregation of duty rules. So, how can relayed provisioning help? The solution is simple. We use a relay system to perform the tasks. This may be an IT service management solution like ServiceNow or a dedicated governance risk and compliance tool like SAP GRC. After requesting access in Omada Identity, a provisioning task is sent to the relay system. The task owner performs all activities to complete the task and confirms this action. Omada Identity pulls the task status controls the actual fulfillment due to the collector configuration with its closed control cycle. For the demonstration of this feature, we can simplify the setup of Omada Identity. There are only two connected systems. ServiceNow is our relay system. And Legacy is a system that has no technical provisioning integration with Omada Identity. In our demo environment, we will now perform a request for a sample identity. In this case, Alan Parker and we will request access for our legacy system. Legacy has no direct connectivity interface with Omada Identity. We request a personal account with full control and right access. As no approval is defined in our demo, the request is immediately sent to the provisioning interface. We can see in my access requests that the execution status is in pending automated provisioning. As system administrator, we can check the provisioning status and can see that there is one relay job in our provisioning dashboard. We can get detailed information about the request item and its request number, and we can see the three tasks that need to be handled in our relay system, creating a new account for Alan Parker and assigning the full control and write access to him. Now let's move into the ServiceNow console. We can find the request and we can see that there are three requested items to create the account, to create the full control and the right access for Alan Parker. Once the user administrator of the legacy system has performed his tasks, he can click on Closed Complete in ServiceNow and update the work item. In Omada Identity, we can now query the status of the task, which happens automatically in the background, but can be manually triggered for use cases like this demo. We can see that the relayed task is gone and it is acknowledged as processed. Inside the legacy system, the user administrator has meanwhile created the new account. For Alan Parker, the new account got the user ID Alapar. Once the account is in place, the assignments to the permissions can be made. First for full control and then for write. After a while, 
the Omada Identity Administrator is able to verify whether the new account has been created correctly. To speed this up, he can do a manual import of the legacy system. When the import has succeeded, we can revisit Alan Parker's request and see that the execution status has been updated to ready to use and Alan Parker is able to use his new access. With this, we have implemented the full control cycle for this loosely coupled system. With the use of relay provisioning, it's possible to increase the width of the identity management system with a tremendous pace. Many organizational alignments can be taken at a later stage, such as the clarification of individual naming conventions or if it is legally or technically possible to interact with the target systems. However, you do not have to compromise on access control. Thanks to the closed control cycle, the typical features of identity management solutions, such as requesting access, reporting and recertification are available. The power of relayed provisioning lies in the simplicity of the idea, extending the comprehensive feature set of Omada Identity. With Omada, you do more with Identity.